Alex Lawrence Barkley for Sense Media here at the inaugural AutoSense conference and of course exhibition. I'm here at the leather tech stand with uh, Pierre Olivier. What are you showing off? All right, so uh, basically uh, leather tech has a solid state time of flight technology uh, that's that's really revolutionary and evolution from anything else that you've seen. It's uh, very good in, in all lighting conditions, very robust. Uh, it, it's very sensitive, so we get a lot of, uh, a lot of range in uh, small amounts of light. So so we, we're presenting solid state LiDARs. Uh, today we have prototypes that the automotive industry can, uh, uh, can, can test and evaluate the technology. Uh, but we're also, uh, we've also announced uh, our roadmap uh, for, for chips and next generation devices with increased resolution, increased range uh, to, uh, to address a, a lot of different applications in the, in the autonomous driving or ADAS world, uh, coming from simple driver assistance functions to higher levels of autonomy, uh, uh, you know, uh, real-time uh, high-resolution maps and, and 3D point clouds and stuff like that. And, and you've got a, an accessible low-cost development kit as well? Yes, exactly. So we have um, uh, an evaluation kit uh, that's a couple of hundred dollars uh, that anybody can buy and start evaluating our technology. Uh, as the roadmap goes on, we'll also have prototypes of the next-gen solutions uh, very, very quickly in the next uh, six months, very likely, uh, so that so that our, our tier one customers can start developing their, their LiDAR projects right now uh, before the, the chips are even ready to, to, to and, and all of that in order to accelerate their, their time to market. So we want to really focus our energies on the LiDAR itself and making our technology great, uh, making our technology the, the, the best and then leave the sensor fusion and the other components to, to the experts in, this, uh, in these fields. And what's the, what's the big advantage of having a solid state LiDAR over the traditional systems? Uh, it's, it's basically robustness. Uh, you don't have any moving parts, so it's going it, it, to last for a, for a longer time. Almost all of our customers today in the automotive industry tell us that moving parts won't be a, an acceptable uh, solution in the, in the industry. So it's, it's basically a deal breaker to have moving parts. Solid state is the way to go. Uh, and we enable that with our increased or improved uh, sensitivity and, and ability to function in all types of environments. So what are you looking for in people coming into the industry? Um, that's, a, that's a good question, actually. We, we're looking be basically for, for people who have knowledge in, in technologies, uh, uh, and we'll be able to learn some some market insight. The automotive industry is a, is a very uh, special market, uh, relatively slow moving, but it has a lot of, of volume, so it's driving a lot of, of the uh, of the new technologies. So uh, uh, people will also be eager to see that that uh, automotive is a relatively high tech uh, market, uh, even though it may, may not look like it. Uh, it is it is a lot, and it's uh, a lot of the the, the the new technologies, the high technology, the, the high tech stuff is coming from the automotive. The world so it's very exciting yeah. so uh, rather than necessarily thinking that people should do high-tech degrees actually they really need to understand the fundamentals of things like engineering electrical engineering and physics yeah well we need both actually so 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 high-tech degrees researchers uh, that that's what's driving the markets but it's also an, an applied market so you have to be able to apply these technologies to the reality of the market and that's where the the, the engineers of this world uh, of this world and the te technicians come in come in hand it's a really exciting growth area of course Pierre Olivier thank you very much for your time and we'll look forward to seeing you next year definitely thank you very much <laughs>